Hi everyone, let's take a look at the camera of an iPhone 15 Pro as an example and understand how mobile cameras actually work. Every phone camera consists of a lens, an image sensor and various supporting hardware and software. The lens is responsible for focusing light onto the image sensor, much like the lens of a traditional camera. Now let's talk about the lens and aperture. The lens on a mobile phone camera allows light to enter and hit the image sensor. The aperture, like the pupil in our eyes, controls the amount of light that passes through the lens. A wider aperture lets in more light, which is great for low light conditions, while a narrower aperture is ideal for bright environments. The image sensor is a crucial component that converts light into an electrical signal, creating a digital image. The image sensor is made up of millions of tiny pixels, each acting as a light sensitive element. The iPhone 15 Pro has an image sensor of 48 megapixels, which means it has 48 millions of those tiny pixels. Every visible color is made up of a combination of three colors, red, green, and blue. When you take a photo, each pixel captures information about the light it receives. This information is stored in the form of RGB combination. The more pixels your camera has, the higher the resolution of your photos, resulting in more detail. Please subscribe if you are still here. This is a picture of a flower and its pixelated form, where you can see each pixel made up of different combinations of RGB colors. Once the image sensor captures the data, the phone's software comes into play. Most modern smartphones use CMOS sensors as they are more power efficient and provide faster image processing. Advanced algorithms process the raw image data, adjusting colors, sharpness, and contrast to produce the final image. This is where technologies like HDR and AI enhancements come into play, enhancing the overall quality of the captured photos. Hit the like button and let me know what you think about this video. Thanks for being here. See you next time.